sets are two all. Seven and zero oh in the U.S. Open in five set matches. This is going to the fifth with Villander serving. By that we mean a match that has gone to five sets. Yes. Fifteen love. What has happened to the temperature down on the court? Mm. Up over, over 110. Thirty. The last time we checked the humidity, it was up around 80 percent, and there is almost no wind to cool things off. That thermometer, in fairness, is in the sun. So are the players, players are as well. <laughs> and that court gets hot. Rick. For sir. I bet Lendl and uh, Connors are sitting in the dressing room. So, hey, fellas, keep going for a while. Yeah. We'll wait till it gets a little darker. Tony, do you think this long match for whoever wins it uh, and the fatigue that the aftermath of it could have an effect on tomorrow's match? I uh, could, sure. If, if uh, you know, this obviously is in their fifth set, it's going to be a tough physical battle. If the winner of the other men's match wins in straight sets and fairly handily, that would give them a bit of an edge. But we've seen so many things happen that, you know, yeah. you can't count on that. I was thinking more of the heat factor. Still to come, Navratilova, Manlikova, the women's final, Lendl and Connors. That men's final we're talking about doesn't start. Good shot. And it's break point for McEnroe. I started to say that uh, the men's final match doesn't start till 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, so that'll help some. Watch the racket preparation. Smooth stroke just driven like a bullet down the line. And we come back live. Break point for McEnroe. First game of the final set. Oh, Ooh, that's close. Oh, I don't know how you let that go. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching Matz's face when he was walking back. He let out a big, deep breath. John wants a guy to stop fanning himself <laughs> down the other side of the court. There's a, a lady. A lady fanning herself. He says, tell him to stop swinging that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I 
it's only 110 out there. Right. It's just a caught his eye though, because it's right over the top of Belanda's head. That, uh, that little altercation took one minute and ten seconds. I said before I saw Flack and Seguso argue the other day and then argued for 15 seconds and the umpire said you got 15 seconds. You're allowed 30 seconds in between points. That's the rule. That's the rule. goes about his business, I think. Yeah. It's a pretty good job of getting it, getting his job done. First, First serve. Well, McEnroe hits the top of that net a lot. Sometimes his toss is a little low. There's a temperature, it looks like up to 115. up to the faces of both players. McEnroe certainly looks the, the one who's in a little more trouble. 
Pete Wise. That was the type of point he's not used to playing, isn't it? Where <laughs> he's, he's being chased around the court. Break point for Vilander. Advantage, Vilander. This takes. You don't overrule it anything that beef goes off on. Tough second serve. Break point. <laughs> 